From DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com, I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. If you're already an official weirdo, please share this video on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and other social media to help get the word out. If you'd like to become an official weirdo, simply click that subscribe button, and while you're at it, click that like button to let the world know that you're a weirdo. The island of Guam is experiencing a high level of anxiety over North Korea's threat to hit it with a nuclear missile. But on the bright side, hotel prices are now a real bargain. A bakery in California is refusing to make a pro-Trump birthday cake for a nine-year-old boy. Uh, oh, now wait a minute here. So it's not okay to refuse to make a cake for religious reasons, but it is okay to refuse to make a cake for political reasons? Did I get that right? Kira Sedgwick recently found out that her husband of 29 years, Kevin Bacon, is a distant cousin. Awkward. Researchers say that co-workers who hug get along better and are more productive. Well, when they're not being sued for sexual harassment, that is. The government will relax its rules that protect the endangered sage-grouse. Finally, sage-grouse. It's what's for dinner. McDonald's is planning on doubling the number of restaurants they have in China. So now they'll have four! The house that was featured as the setting for the Beverly Hillbillies is up for sale and has the most expensive real estate price tag in the country – $350 million. It's in the Bel Air area near Beverly Hills. But it comes with its own cement pond, and that's pretty cool. A study says the hearing rate loss may double in the U.S. by the year 2060. For those of you already having trouble hearing, a study says the hearing rate loss may double in the U.S. by the year 2060. South Korea has introduced the first tax on robots out of concern that they're going to put people out of jobs. So be looking for the robot uprising in retaliation of taxation without representation. In Southern California, 42-year-old Andrew David Jensen made one bonehead mistake while allegedly robbing a home. He went to the bathroom number two, and didn't flush. And that left a nice pile of DNA evidence for police that led to his arrest. The DNA profile put together by investigators matched another profile in a national database, and detectives tracked Jensen down at his home in Ventura. So let this be a lesson to you parents. If you don't teach your children to flush and they choose crime as a career, they might incriminate themselves when they poo-poo. NBC's comedy streaming service CISO made its debut in January, but it will be shut down before the end of this year. If you're a fan of NBC's comedy streaming service, you're probably the only one. Tuesday was Election Day for Kenyans, and while some citizens dealt with long lines and others protected themselves from rain and chilly weather, a woman gave birth and still voted. Shortly after the woman arrived at her polling place, she went into labor and, with the assistance of bystanders, gave birth to a baby girl. After a trip to a local health clinic, she returned and cast her ballot. She was inspired by people in Chicago who often vote as two people. Spike Lee is going to hold a rally at NFL headquarters to find Colin Kaepernick a job. Man, how awful of a person must you be that Spike Lee has to come in and help you find a job. Maybe move out of the country to somewhere that hates America as much as you do. Look for a job there. What's for dinner? In Indiana, it was 22,000 pounds of frozen ravioli and jalapenos that went up in flames on an Indiana highway. The semi-driver said he saw smoke and hit the brakes. He stopped his truck, unhooked the trailer, and said the fire started shortly after that. Uh-oh. SpaghettiOs. The longest personality study of all time suggests that over the course of a lifetime, just as your physical appearance changes and your cells are constantly replaced, your personality is also transformed beyond recognition. Meaning there might still be hope for that brat kid at the next table who ruined our romantic dinner at the restaurant the other night. New York is excited about the Spotted Cheetah, a pop-up restaurant from August 15th through the 17th that is completely Cheetos-driven, including perfectly fried green tomatoes, Cheetos mix-up crusted chicken malinaise, and Cheetos Sweetos crusted cheesecake. Ah, 
the power of cheese. In Fort Pierce, Florida, a woman bought a couch through a Facebook ad. As soon as she got it home, she decided to call police because, along with the pillows and cushions, she found a greenish, leafy substance that officers later identified as marijuana. The buyer also told police as soon as she got home, she got a text message from the seller to call her as soon as possible. The seller said she left an item of value in the couch and wanted it back. But when the buyer texted back that she was calling police, the seller began texting her using vulgar language and advised her she was stealing from her. Oddly enough, when police went to the seller's home and spoke with her, she suddenly did not want to file a report on the item that she'd left inside the couch or report a theft. Hmm. In other words, it's my marijuana, unless you're calling the police, at which point I have no idea what marijuana even is. The city of Portland, Maine is looking at paying panhandlers $10.68 an hour if they're able to work. Well, you know, this makes perfect sense. I mean, they're already spending all of their waking moments looking for strangers to give them money, so working for the government is the next logical step. Today's Daily Dose of Weird News is brought to you by the children's audiobook The Adventures of Mr. Teapot by Tatiana Matina, narrated by Darren Marlar. Hear a free sample and support Marlar House by downloading the audiobook for yourself at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. Be sure to click that notification bell, too, so you'll know when I post new videos. Find even more weird news that I didn't have time for at DailyDoseOfWeirdNews.com. I'm Darren Marlar, and I'll see you next time, weirdos!